This is Living Abroad, Barcelona. Barcelona is the second largest city in Spain. Nearly four and a half million people live here. But Barcelonans don't say they're from Spain. They say they're from Catalonia. Catalonia is very different from the rest of Spain. And you see that everywhere you go around Barcelona. Um, people are very different. They're very proud of their history and their culture and their language. Spain is in Western Europe, bordering Portugal and France. While Madrid is the capital of Spain, Barcelona is the capital of Catalonia. Catalonia is considered a nationality within the Spanish nationality. The region has even lobbied for autonomy from Spain. Catalonia has a distinct culture with its own language. All schools here teach Catalan as the first language. The region's government even conducts all official business in Catalan. So that means that if you took Spanish in high school or college in America, would you be doing OK here? Well, most people here do speak Spanish, but everyone speaks Catalan. So it's very important that you very quickly embrace the new language. 7% of Barcelona's population is foreign, the highest percentage of any Spanish city. And about 8,000 of those foreigners are Americans. Lots of American companies have set up here because of the nature of Barcelona and its position within Europe. Um, and obviously, it's a wonderful place to live. The American expats we're meeting live in Barcelona itself and the surrounding region of Catalonia. Designed by Catalan architect Antony Gaudi, construction began in 1882 and continues today. Imagine being an American architect in Barcelona. Inspiration is everywhere. One architect turned her vision loose on the world-famous Costa Brava, the coastline that runs from Barcelona to France. New York architect Sofia Grosdiz designed and built this 1,300-square-foot house, guest house, and garage. She and her husband Lee bought the land for $100,000, then spent $250,000 on construction. Now it's worth $1.4 million. So this is your little piece of paradise on the Costa Brava. It is. I feel like it's a loft. Yes, it comes from our New York days. Uh, we essentially designed this space as a very big open space with light to come from both sides. The sun rises along that window on the east, and then it comes around the top over here to the south, and then it sets over here to the west. So the whole entire house pretty much welcomes the sunlight in at all hours of the day. Yes. Inside, she designed an open American kitchen. Her exterior design was daring for the area. When we built the house, when it was under construction, people were horrified uh, because it was such a risky contemporary house for this zone. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, everybody wants a house like this. Now you went from New York to the Costa Brava. Did you ever dream that you'd make your home here? No, truthfully not. Uh, but we just loved it. It was so special. It was different than any part of Europe. Taking risks is part of living overseas. Our expats living in and around Barcelona have found their risks rewarded with a rich Catalonian lifestyle. It's my lifestyle that I, I love here. I think it's been a great experience, not only to see a culture, but to live it. Wow. 